Let's talk about patterns. In patterning, a pattern is the name for an entire circle, which is made up of nine loops, each loop being one of the concentric rings. A patterning project can have any number of patterns in it. The pattern name is displayed at the top right of the pattern. Tap on the pattern name to rename it. To create a new pattern, you have two choices. You can duplicate the current pattern or create a new blank pattern. When duplicating a pattern, all data is copied to the new pattern. This is useful for creating variations on your beats. When you create a blank new pattern, the new pattern will be empty, but the loop settings, such as the loop lengths and the swing settings, will be carried over to the new pattern. You can switch between adjacent patterns using the forward and rewind buttons, or by selecting a pattern from the Patterns Editor. If the clock's running, pattern changes will occur on the next downbeat by default. But you can modify this behavior from the Tempo drop-down menu using the Pattern Launch Quantize control. Here, you can change the time that patterning will wait before changing patterns from immediate all the way up to 16 measures. In the Patterns Editor, Unlock the Patterns control to reorder or delete patterns. Each pattern has an associated fill pattern. The fill is a temporary override of the pattern that can be used in performance to play drum fills or alternate versions of the primary pattern. To engage fill, press the fill button. On the iPad, the fill button is momentary, but can be latched by dragging off of the control before releasing. On Mac, the fill works as a toggle. The first time fill is pressed on a pattern, all of the pattern data is duplicated into the fill. From there, you can make edits to the fill pattern without affecting the primary pattern.